What's going on, Spencer 50 here, and I have a little bit of explanation for why I haven't really been uploading and why this video is probably going to be a little bit shorter, okay? I'm just going to do this before the video starts, but pretty much, um, there's been, like, a massive flooding and stuff like that where I live. Like, pretty much every house around me has a flooded house or flooded basement. I was lucky, didn't have any problems, almost did, but that's a whole different story. And pretty much, also, all the roads are washed out, so a bunch of my internet is just absolutely terrible right now. It's just been terrible for, like, a week. And also my cousin that I like never see he came over for a few days So I'm just hanging out with him right now. So if this video goes up late, that's probably why I'm probably just hanging out with him Probably not gonna get home for a long time or really late. So yeah, anyways, let's get into this So as you guys know the ray gun in black ops 3 is probably one of the worst guns in the game Now the reason for that is just because you can't double pack a punch it and it just doesn't really have that high of a killing power I feel like and they kind of nerfed out, honestly. So, pretty much back in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, and I guess World at War, even though you're probably going to die if you use it in World at War. But in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, it was amazing. You could pack punch it. It was like high rounds. It was really cool, okay? It was really good. Where in Black Ops 3, it's not really like that. Because they added a longer reload speed, I believe, where you put in like two bullets instead of like one or like two cartridges, I guess, or magazines, whatever they call it for the ray gun. So, you put in two magazines or cartridges and cartridges instead of one that's something I've noticed so they kind of nerfed it a little bit it didn't really feel like it was as good and you also couldn't double pack punch it so pretty much that meant it didn't have unlimited killing power like pretty much every other gun and the reason for this is just because it probably would have been too overpowered but I personally didn't think so I wouldn't think so anyways but pretty much there's a glitch that came out I believe a few days ago and I was gonna cover it but I thought it was gonna get patched right away and it didn't and what it does is it allows you to do a button combination with a gobble gum and then you can get double pack a punch on the ray gun now it also works on pretty much any gun that is available in black ops 3 so you can get it on like the path conservant you can get it on the kt4 and you can also get it on the savs but the thing is it's pretty much useless on all those except the kt4 and the savs so yeah you can pretty much have fireworks on a kt4 on a staff and have like a fully automatic wind staff and fully automatic kt4 yeah it's super overpowered this is why it's so game breaking but for the ray gun it's not that bad i feel like because you can get blast furnace you can get all of those things but i feel like that's something the ray gun needs because it's not that good, and it's something no one uses. And the ray gun's a wonder weapon. It's supposed to be something when you get out of the box, you're like, yes, I got the ray gun. Where now it's like, oh crap, I got the ray gun. It's completely different. So pretty much, I feel like if they kept this like glitch in the game, at least for the ray gun, I feel like that would've been a little bit better. So I'm not really sure what they're gonna do. I hope they remove it, like take it out for like the staves and the KT4, because I don't wanna get in a public match with like five million people being like, hey, let me hit the box so I can get my, oh, like double pack a punch, so Poth can serve it. You know, like it's just, I don't want that. But if it's a ray gun, I'm fine with that because it's, I guess it's kind of hard to do. I'm going to take a few tries. So I feel like if they leave it for the ray gun, I might be okay. But I definitely feel like they should take it out for the Pothkin and like the KT4 and that stuff. Because that's just going to be way too overpowered, too game breaking. But if I feel like they keep it for the ray gun, that actually might make it use like somewhat useful for once. So yeah. Anyways, yep, it's a shorter video. And also, videos are in 4K now. Probably pretty useless, probably a waste of time and rendering, but you know what? It's a thing, so if you have decent internet, you can actually watch 4K. Yay, you can watch Patriots Fan 50 in 4K. That's the new thing, okay? 4K, I'm sounding like Xbox X right now. 4K, we have no good videos, but we do have 4K. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Whoa, I always mess this up, I said, okay? But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, I'll see you next one. Peace.